Now here in front of us we have all the parts that's required to assemble the machine. You have the bowl, uh, which sits on the main unit. Um, it comes with a, uh, it has a tap handle, which is located there. Um, you have a plunger uh, with the spring on, that sits on top of it, O-ring and the lower seal. Um, and a pin that holds the whole lot together. Uh, underneath the, the, the bowl you have the tray with its removable lid. Inside the unit you have the, the main spiral which sits inside the bowl with the spiral seal. A uh, spiral is also known as an auger. That's uh, one of the terminologies for it. And on the, uh, behind the auger at the rear of the bowl we have a rear main seal which is used to seal the bowl to the main part of the unit. A lid for the top of the bowl. The side of the machine has this filter um, which is critical that it be cleaned. Uh, on the older models you'll have to remove the side panel to clean the condenser of the machine. We also supply you with a bucket, a jug which is pre-marked pre with the volumes of mix ratio and our preferred cleaner the Pinoclean citrus wipes which are an antibacterial wipe and available across the country. To reassemble the machine, it's very simple. We get your rear main seal, uh, which should be dry. Uh, you'll find it slightly sticky, uh, and so should the surface of the machine. You just stretch it on any way you can. And then once it's sort of in place, then you use your finger, the ball of your finger or your thumb, just to go around the side of it making sure that it's evenly distributed and you can always check it with the tip of your finger. The next thing is to install the spiral. Now to put the spiral in what you need to do is to put the seal into the spiral or the auger and push it down firmly so that it's sitting straight. Then grab some of the food grade lubricant. This is the inox that we supply when you order your slush and just put a liberal amount like this on the seal. Then lining up the keyway inside the shaft with the keyway of the machine, push it on until the seal touches the stainless at the front. Now you need to put the bowl and before you do that to make it easier to put the bowl on we suggest you just add a little bit of water to the seal just let it run down down the edge of the seal both sides it doesn't need much maybe 10 or 20 mils at the most it makes it very slippery and easy we don't recommend using lubricant because it makes the seals go soft over a period of time then grab the bowl in one hand such that um, you, the, the power and the strength of assembly is in that hand. This hand is just a guide. You slide it over the spiral. And now at this point, you need to make sure that the three things line up. The tip of the spiral lines up with the front guide and that the foot is not going to catch on the guide on the side here and that you aren't catching the rear seal. If you've got all three lined up, you just put your hand at the back and you squeeze the two together and then that hand goes down. To put the handle, I recommend that you actually put the handle on when it's on the machine because it's easier to have to chase it around. After you've cleaned these, you'll need to reapply the lubricant like this, some of the inox food grade edible lubricant to the, right, just about that much on the top and the bottom. And then all you do is just work that in with your finger into the groove around on both the top and the bottom. There you go. And then all you need to do now do is just put the spring onto the plunger, lining the, the front 
of the, the hole of the plunger in and insert it into the machine. until the hole comes through there. Grab your handle, pop your handle in the hole, take the left hand away and it will hold itself and then insert the pin through the hole. And there's now assembled.